can. Um, I think I'm going to go vertical with this one. Uh, it is a good idea to draw these out first. And um, here, here's another thing I do. If I don't have a pencil, and that's often, <laughs> I'll just take kind of a, a light gray like that. Just a light gray, and I just draw with that. So, you can do that. So I have a sense I want, I want to capture this. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Airplane, you're gonna have these shadows across the path here. The path kind of pulling you into the piece. These guys, is it Yucca or? Uh, Joshua. Is that Joshua tree? Yeah. What I want. And so instead of, um, um, I'm just, th this is the preliminary sketch. That's what plain air is. I mean, plain air is different in that way. Otherwise, you're doing a a basic, um, you know, you're doing what we like to call studio painting, which are much more worked out and more finely rendered. And this kind of thing going on there. Okay, one kind of going up here. So I am definitely editing things out. I don't want to put them all in there. And that's the thing, when you get into the habit of uh, just copying what's in front of you and not editing things out that you think maybe you don't need, you fall into, well, you become a slave to what you're seeing. And instead of dictating what you're seeing, and you might not get, well, you definitely won't get what you want, but you might get a really good copy and that's your, <laughs> That's about all you'll get. This way, when you take liberties, you know, you're getting yourself into it. How to get the black, look at all that blue through there. How am I gonna do that? I don't know. Is the blue lighter or darker? Mm. It's both. In the shadows, it's lighter. and the light side, the most highlights, it's even darker. So, Taking this across the plane to the shadows, describe the plane. So they're moving around the vegetation and going down here, down this way, and then they go across the road here, and maybe even up the other side. You can't really see too much of that, but we'll see. And that's that's a lot right there. But at least I have kind of a, a description, and you know, you see how I just felt. I always say, when in doubt, take it out. It's human photoshopping. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's see what we can do with the monster brush here. The nice thing about this big old brush is it holds a lot of paint. So I don't have to reload as much. Um, now all this stuff, it's kind of tacked up a little bit. What color are you using? What's the blue? That's cobalt blue. Okay, that's what I thought. And paint it right over. Right over. Because it's just, it's too much. And I can see, I can see my drawings. How about that, huh? So you wet the paper when you started? Is that what nope. you No? No? But it, I, in a sense, I am wetting it right now, right? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Lots of Viva, and I like it. See? How do you cut yeah. the Viva? That, that's, that, that sounds like a t-shirt. <laughs> I bought Viva and I like yeah. it. <laughs> How do you you know, cut? I was in the 99 cent store the other day and this lady, she was taking up all this time. She had, she had tons and tons and tons of stuff. I don't, I don't know if you've been in there, but sometimes they have things that are a little more expensive, you know, and uh, she bought all those things too. And I was looking at there laughing and then when she was all done, she goes, sorry, everybody, it took so long because she couldn't really work the credit card thing there very well because she took a little bit extra time. So everybody was sort of huffing in line. And then, and then she goes, uh, um, 
when the whole thing was over. She goes, uh, believe it or not, I came in here for water. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, the light part and pull those out. <coughs> Maybe I should have started a little earlier. I don't know. But we can pull them out with, uh, there we go. If you add a little water to it too, if it's getting kind of stubborn, if you add a little water and then use your, see, your rag, that'll come right out. See, I think that's a little bit easier than painting around each little nicey little deal there. I just want to pull out a couple of those highlights. And I'll bet you any. Down below, I have lots of greenery. Lots and lots. Oh, thank you. Okay. Perfect. So how about I move it over here? Oh, I have tape there. I must have used that for something. Same kind of thing. Blend it right in. Okay. Now, a natural green. And I had a violet down here. You might go, why, why are you making, why are you using violet to use? Because it's got blue in it. And I need red in my green to make it more natural. So if I add yellow to this, kind of a browner green, more, more of a grayer green. If I want it more saturated, I can move up into these greener, the greener guys there. And and the more yellow I add to it, the more green it gets. There we go. But just remember, you have to add a little bit of red into your greens. Oh, that really follows into a nice, nice green there. A lot of yellow in that green too. And why some of the things come right up and over the path, all the way down. And for some of the highlights, maybe I'll just take that out. I think sometimes that's a bit easier than Painting around everything. Um, and then we have a lot of green over here. This uh, brown or yellow right here is called quinacridone yellow. I really like it. I've been experimenting. That's sort of my, one of my experimental colors. So I'll add that as long as you have your cad and your, your lemon on there. Add anything you like. Just to get some of these guys going in there. There we go. And these guys up there. And then, um, oh, let's use a big brush here. Okay, here we go. So if you have three or four little compartments, the nice thing is you can get the bulk of your junk off in one, really clean out the rest of it in two, and you're really clean by three, and I have an extra one, so, so that's nice. So what I'm thinking about in these guys here is ooh, the uh, oh that that is really nice. Look at that! That big old brush gives me a razor sharp point like that. Yeah, and maybe a little bit lighter. Like if I do them a little bit lighter, I can come back with something darker for the shadow. So I got, oh yeah, they have some little guys coming down like this. And they're catching a lot of light, so I'm gonna make them a little bit lighter, like this, a little bit yellower. 
Maybe I'll hit a little bit up in there. One of these two. Just remember, they all come out from one point. You know, that's something to know around here because almost every one of these aloe type things radiate from right. They they radiate from a point like that, and you can just. So it might be better to start them off a little lighter like that, and then I come back in with some darker shadows. You can get away with a lot in watercolor, and, and and I don't know why everybody says it's so hard. You know, just have fun with it. So I have three right in a row here. I'm going to put one overlapping here. And they are very similar sizes, but I don't want them all the same size. Maybe I have a small one over here. Yeah, those guys just kind of... Some down and deep. And then the, the browner stuff is the dead stuff. So I'm going to go into some browner color. You notice I'm really not looking at it all that much. Because there's a difference between copying and uh, using something for inspiration. I'll look at it for little notations. Like I notice it gets a little grayer way down here because those are the really old ones. Those are the really old dead ones. These are the new dead ones. <laughs> there's a difference. Some of these palms, you look and you think, okay, that palm to be that high has probably got to be a hundred years old or something, right? You're thinking it's still got the dead palm things at the very base of it. So you're thinking that dead stuff's been there for a long, long time. Golly. You see the things that occupy my brain space? <laughs> I'm just, and there's just so much more. And I want them to get browner, or shall I say, a little bit redder. Here and there. And. I want to get some of this background in there too. More green. Now for for the um, for some of the stuff way in the background, I'm going to add a little bit. I want them to be a little bit grayer, like this, a little bit blue and grayer, way back, so they don't compete. Because I'll add more saturation to my ones in the foreground. I should get a little lighter. You want it lighter, just add water. So bringing some background things in there, really soft edges. So that works out. I'm shifting color, so I want clean. It's, it pays to have, and I don't fill them up very much. And so if I have some dirty stuff, I just throw it in my dirty little water bottle and... Okay. What's this kind of hair? Um, it's a combination of a hawk and a goat. Hawk? Hog. Oh, we, hog. We, 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 call, we call it a bear, but it's actually a hawk. Hog. Yeah. 
hog, a, a pig, a pig and goat, yeah. But, pig and goat hair, wow. Yeah, we, we also call it bear. Bear usually comes, uh, you know. Because they're related, I mean, yeah. boars. We, we, we label the brush based on the categories, not really exactly the, the animal, but uh, wolf usually stands for stiff, goat stands for soft. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Thank but wolf, uh, including bear, badger, uh, weasel, all kind of uh, Whoa. Anim uh, animal hairs. Yeah. Wow. I have a badger, bro. Or a horse, yeah. I never knew that. <laughs> yeah, what about horse? Is that horse? Um, horse is, uh, uh, horse hair is a little softer, but um, um, mountain horse, what we call, it's a, it's a, the stiff, uh, stiff one. How yeah. about that? Wow. Yeah. As long as it's not cat hair. <laughs> no cats, no cats. But there's a rat. We have a rat whisker brush. Uh, rat whisker? Yeah, rat whisker is a stiff, very stiff brush. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But it's not made from rat whisker. No, it's a, probably rabbit. Rab rabbit. Oh, yeah. rabbit. It's still rodents. Okay, so we have some uh, soft shadows in the background. and So she certainly could start them off gray or like, let's just say... If I wanted this to be gray, I could add orange because orange is the complement of uh, blue. So typically, those shadows would be something more like this on the ground there. But you know, I, maybe I want to juice up the color a little bit. So maybe I could hit a bit more of this cobalt blue, or maybe how about ultramarine blue and, and just hit some blue in there, you know? Yeah? Where? Definitely. Just bring it in there, huh? Maybe even a little bit of uh, magenta for a touch of violet. Yeah. And then a little dry brush. I'm seeing some of those. Uh, it's kind of a softer edge. Shadow down here because these things are casting it from further away so what I'll do is um, add a little bit of water Oops. all that green off the brush man this thing likes to okay and then throw my sort of uh, think of these as laying in sort of an ellipse there we go some of those shadows Mm -hmm. there, there. Now, if you know the, the darkest part of the shadow, color cast is sometimes different. Yeah. So you just, but you can take those things and use them um, as little things to play, stylistic things to play with in your piece. So maybe I hit a little bit of orange, something just. Very light and warm in there. <clears throat> now what this thing's lacking is some dark. Let's go around with this one. Mm -hmm. So I can see my see my sort of composition going there. We have a one, two, I'm gonna stick to this big brush. And go for some darks. Some of these dark greens. And I can hit that uh, Prussian blue. I'm gonna add a little violet to that Prussian blue. The way to make violet is just add your magenta to your um, ultramarine, same color. Come back in there, maybe even a touch of that. A little, little yellow in there just to make it. And they're gonna be on the blades the back part of the blades and deep down in the center part so and then these darks down in here get a bit warmer kind of a browner so I'll, I'll reload another color for those see shadows make the difference right Now I know like, for instance, these 
fronds are uh, bending down, so they're probably going to go into a shadow right there. These guys might be catching light over here, so you might get a couple little, and hit something dark, like maybe even really dark in there. Pop it. Hit it hard. That's a little too dark. Back off, Rob. You know, but I, I kind of set it up so look at it for like for instance I'm looking at it for the value or how dark I need to get it gets pretty dark in some of those shadows nothing wrong with hitting yourself something really nice and dark in the centers but do you have to be perfect or anything I mean it, if it works why fix it No, I see another one right there. A lot of that going on. And something, the uh, the darks in the dead stuff's a little warmer dark, so I'm gonna go with this warmer dark. And most of it is in the bottom part, like down in there. Look at the brush. I'm not painting this thing. <laughs> the brush is painting it. I feel guilty. <laughs> I'm gonna come out with a, a thing on the QVC channel. You too can paint like a brush master. The brush <laughs> paints it for you. Watch. I'm not doing it. See? <laughs> can you imagine? I never thought. I never thought the the salesmanship uh, course they made me take at Radio Shack would ever pay off. <laughs> I remember <laughs> I took I remember I didn't know anything about sales and and I took this I mean in college I had this you know those uh, those those little jobs you can get during the uh, Christmas season temporary jobs I got a temporary job at Radio Shack and it was uh, and so they. They told me all these like sales tactics. Stuff on this side. What's that other so shark? The shark something. J jump the shark. That one. No, that. What? that. Something sharks, whatever. They, these people come and make a pitch and they try to get those people to invest in them. Oh, oh sharks. I don't know. No. There's like a. No. I don't know. Yeah, it's sharks? something like loan sharks, though. No. I like those shows. Um, I just like that. It's such a. You know, I mean, it's the American dream, right? Some of those products, um, you know, really took off. Yeah. I'm gonna do some of these little silhouettes. I saw them, they were a little bit more in silhouette earlier. Mm. So from fat to thin, just, just, I'm just putting a big fat stroke and then just pulling it off like that. Mm. Like this, just, this is the perfect brush for these. Look at this, see? Mm -hmm. and, the, and I know there's lights on there, but there weren't earlier, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, right, Rob. No, I swear. I like that little silhouette over in the yeah. front. Mm -hmm. So, and we have some little guys there, too. I'm going to. I like those long. I want to get more yellow in there. I'm not, yeah, it's not really. No, I mean, the, the paint is. Going on pretty dry. Yeah, the background? The thick no, the paints. The yeah. paint you're putting on now is, is a lot um, thicker. Thicker, right? Yeah. Thicker. yeah. 
So add a little water if you want it to flow a little bit more. Got some little guys over there. With just a knife, oh, I, I, I <laughs> just a knife, and I sharpen it every time I cut one. I sharpen it, so oh. it must be a toothy knife. Is no, it? it's no? A, it, no, you don't want that because it, it makes all these little shavings. That's shavings. what happened to me. I use a serrated bread knife, and yeah. it just oh, yeah, terrible. You, you just want it really um, smooth knife, smooth knife, and you want it every. I'll cut it through, and and then I sharpen it like five times. One, two, three, four, five chop and it goes right through like butter yeah i i use a chinese cleaver you know the big giant <laughs> <laughs> yeah. anybody for a composition that you thought to add this because that adds so much to by, it by the way uh, you see these kind of hard lines along the edges here mm -hmm. it never works throw okay. stuff over the edges you'll see some stuff coming over pull it over more you know because it just never works so that's what I, I'll try to do now. Watch what the darks do, you guys. This is the end, so. Um, but watch what happens when I smack some dark in there and in there. See? I'll hit some different colors of dark. This is where you can take a lot of liberties in a dark. Because, it, you know, they're really just, look, I mean, they're just kind of boring, you know? And your camera worried them even more boring. They're just sort of dark. So now, why not wake them up with a little bit of um, a little magenta, possibly? Now, here, here's another thing. Even though you might see something that reads to your eye as pretty dark way back here, don't hit it as dark as anything up here, mm. or you'll 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 you'll, you'll lose the um, on the, the, the illusion of depth. Mm. Right. The grand illusion of depth. <laughs> So to achieve the grand illusion of depth, no, just just dark, keep your darks more in the foreground. Okay. And if you have a dark back here, um, like I'll hit some darks back there. I just thought it'd be fun. It would be medium dark. Oh, you're gonna wreck it now. You you like that? Yeah. I like it the way it is. Okay. We understand. Yeah. Well, let me just hit a little bit. <laughs> oh, was well, it very dry? Just yeah, nice and dry and light. It could be a little something, right? Could, I mean, look at the things growing around here. Just look at the texture. Kind of. Look at that tree. <laughs> what it? That's exactly what I tell everyone not to do in a tree. <laughs> Is it a tree? I mean, Dr. Seuss would look at that and go, that's kind of funky. That's even funkier than my tree. Dr. Seuss trees. But, you know, I grew up drawing those Dr. Seuss trees. I like those trees. So anyway, uh, yeah, some some little darks uh, way up in here can really help. Just just like up and under, like up here, up and under there. See, up and under. Because what you're doing, you're you're thinking of a, a light that would be right under, right under. See, the deepest darkest pots, parts, parts. As my daughter used to say. <laughs> hey, smack them in there. A couple in there. Smack them hard. <laughs> hard edge, and you, you don't like that. Just take a wet brush. Hmm. See, I got a little bit darker next to the object casting it. Mm -hmm. It gets a little lighter out here, a little darker there. That'll give the feeling of it. You know, look at these big nothing, nothing. Mm -hmm. Certainly could put something there, but again. Mm -hmm. 